match with Man United fans, Dan. It was Norwich City 1, Manchester United 3. Um, what an interesting game for Manchester United. Absolutely amazing performance. We're back in action right now at Manchester United. I'm so, so happy we are on a roll right now at uh, this club. Uh, and, and, and that's a performance that we needed. It's a performance that we've needed. And we kept on pushing. But yeah, just, just what a match for Manchester United to go on and win. A match before you face Chelsea in an FA Cup. Um, not an FA Cup, in the Carabao Cup, fourth round away. It's, it's just absolutely amazing. Two away wins in a row. Penalty galore. Um, after missing two, Martial missed one, Rashford missed one. Bloody hell. But 3-1, it could have been five. And if we scored those penalties, I reckon we would have taken it to a larger margin and maybe not have conceded them. No, I, I reckon we probably would have. But, you know, look, Norwich are a decent side coming at us. Um, look, Norwich... Look, no disrespect, look, they're, they're not amazing. And Tim Krul, I give respect to you, a world-class goal today for Norwich City. But, you know, at the end of the day, Manchester United, we do go on and we have won this match against Norwich City. And I'm more than happy right now. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with this, um, uh, with that result. Because hopefully that can go on, that can give us a little bit more confidence going into the rest of this season. But what an interesting day it was today for Manchester United. It was just absolutely world class. And I can't wait to go on and see what will happen um, um, for the rest of, uh, what will happen in that Chelsea match. It'd be all very, very interesting. But Manchester United did win that game. Uh, no, no, you look, you can't say we won just. Um, yeah, look, Norwich, um, look, they were quite good. Um, in the first couple of minutes, they were really coming at us quite a lot. But, you know, um, in about, I don't know, the last couple of minutes of the last 15, 20, yeah, 15, I don't know. Uh, but the last couple of minutes, it was all good of the first half. Then, second half, we went out there, we mainly dominated. No, no, we did dominate. We did dominate the second half. That's what I'm saying. But, you know, what's the game? And we finally... We finally done something at Manchester United. Um, Rashford got the goal, and McTominay got a goal, Martial got a goal. So yeah, all good at Manchester United. Two out of two goals for Marcus Rashford. I mean, not Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial. I, I, I'm, I'm just really, really happy with that result. Uh, but but hopefully we can go on. We can, and, and we need to be consistent with these bloody results, though, don't we? Uh, but we finally get an away win, which is deserved. And we didn't play absolutely dreadful, win it? We didn't play absolutely terrible. So I'm happy. I'm proud of this Manchester United team for, 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 for really just what we went out there and did and um, you have to be proud but you know I'm, I'm I, I am happy with that result uh, that Manchester United went out there and gave us it was good it, it, it was good for Manchester United and you have to you just have to be proud you have to be proud of this Manchester you have to be proud of this Manchester United team for what you went out there and did you bloody do but yes um it, it, it's just amazing what we went out there and did. I mean, uh, just the way we played football, I think it was a lot better than usual. Um, I think um, that we just found the gaps. We found the places where we could easily break in the Norwich defence. That's what we did. Um, and that's what we always should be having a look at as well. So, yeah. But, you know, I'm proud. I, I am proud. I'm bloody proud uh, of, of Manchester United. But, you know, look. After winning that match, hopefully it does give us a little bit more confidence to go on and win just a few more matches. But, you know, uh, it's something that we do have to treasure that victory. Uh, and, yeah, hopefully we can go on. We can. Um, yeah, yeah, look, all we need to do is we just need to go again um, and, and, yeah, and just keep it and, and just keep this all up in Manchester United because that is exactly what we need to do right now with this club. So, yes. But a win for Manchester United. I think lots of Manchester United fans are really, really happy with that result. Because I am. I am. Um, so, yes. But Fred, I really didn't see him get into the game that much. But, you know, it was interesting for Manchester United. It was interesting. I don't think this is the whole bloody turning point. I don't think it's the whole turning point of the season for Manchester United. Because at the end of the day, we were against Norwich. We, this match... 
it, look, this match was against Norwich. So we can't get, oh, oh yeah, right, we're going to win the league. We're going to get top four because of this result. No, uh, we, look, we can't be saying that. But hopefully something can happen. Hopefully it does. Um, I don't know when we will be able to find out the turning point of the season. Hopefully there is one, but, you know, uh, look, there better be one because something has to happen. Uh, but, yeah, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, you have to be proud. You have to be proud um, of him. Uh, we need to be, uh, he needs to be proud of the side. But, yo, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm, I really am happy with uh, that 3-1 victory. Unfortunately, they did come in scoring the last couple of minutes. But you can't be negative and you can't say, oh, yeah, right, they came on, they scored. No, 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 we need to be happy with that result. We need to be, um, obviously. Because we won. Look, you need to be happy because, look, we obviously went on and won a match. So, yes. But what's the result for Manchester United to go on and just have a look at treasure? Just look at how you performed. But penalties, something has happened. Who should take? Dan James, Martial, Rashford. Who should take? Rashford's a way too much many bloody chances in my opinion. But the, 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 this isn't a rant so show. It, 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 it's a show just, just to be happy about. It, it's something to have a look at. Be happy about and stuff. So, yes. And, 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 so, and a performance they're going to be proud of. To be happy with, um, I'm, 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 I'm amazed with that performance. I can't believe that we went on, we um, did what we just did. Uh, to be honest, but look, away record, our, our away re record. This I can't say record. Our away record this season. I said it that time. It, it, it it's been dreadful. It's been dreadful since bloody April. Uh, to be honest, but hopefully we can get it. We have got it back. We have got it back, and and it needs to keep on happening. So that way, now we can't be ner. Look, we can't be nervous coming into away matches. Um, look, we've seen what these players can do, and yeah, simple as. They, they can't hide from us anymore, because it's just ridiculous. We know what these players are capable of. We've always knew what these bloody players are capable of, and they need to give it their all no matter what. They need to be ready. This takes us all the way up to 7th place. But look, we are just at uh, the beginning of this season. But, you know, I don't care. I don't care. We've won uh, this match. And, and that's the thing I'm happy about. But, you know, here we go. So, yeah, um, but, but look, winning this match, um, it surely can take us up to a whole new level. Um, we've gone higher up the table, and but we need to try and keep it like this. We need to keep it like this. Who have we got next weekend? Who have we got next weekend? Next weekend, we've got Bournemouth. It's live on BT Sports, 12.30 on Saturday. That'd be interesting. We should win. That's another away match. We got four away matches in a row. Well, wait, so we are partisan. We got no issues. Then... We got Chelsea on Wednesday, and now, and then Saturday we got Bournemouth, so, yeah, we got some busy weeks ahead of us, we got a few, uh, we got a busy week ahead of us this week, another busy week uh, ahead of us once again, but, yes, Manchester United get the win, I'm all happy with that, but, yes, anyway, um, time for your player ratings then, guys, time for the player ratings, how do I think the players got on? You see now, uh, it, it, it's interesting. It's all interesting, uh, to be honest. Arsenal drew to all. Ah, oh. that's good. Um, right, so we got done with the hair. He can have a six. He didn't really uh, that much room, so yeah. Apart from that, that kind of last 88th minute goal. That last minute goal. Um, 88th minute goal that Norwich scored. Um, Harry Maguire at centre back. He can have a six. Victor Lindelof. Oh, didn't really see him. He can have a five. Um, Young. He can have a four. No, I'll, I'll give him a five. I'll give him a five. Oh, and no, no. Young has to have a four. He, he, he just lacks. He, he, he just lacks every bloody match. Bloody hell. Wan Bissaka can have a seven. Fred can have a five uh mctominay can have a six uh with a decent goal we scored he scored the first goal for us in this match 
Rashford can have a five. I mean, he, he, he wasn't... Uh, no, no, I, I, I'll give him a six. If he scored the penalty, I probably would have gi given him a seven, but he, he, he can have a six. Um, Anders Pereira didn't play too bad. He can have a six. Um, Daniel James can also have a six. Then up front, I'm going to give Martial a seven. Um, my man of the match today was probably Anthony Martial. I didn't think he played too bad today, apart from that penalty match. But I've got to say, it wasn't an absolutely dreadful penalty. Tim uh, Krul did do decent to go and save that. But, you yeah. know, it is what it is. And, and whatever happens, happens in football. Uh, but, you know, it, it, at least we got the win. But, look, we could have easily... Um, won that by more we could have easily won it by more 100 percent. but unfortunately no um we couldn't do it today but, but 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 we won we won the match we won the match um which is the which is the thing which we mostly need to look at we won the match and and we, and we need to keep it up we need to keep up our performances that's what we need to do um uh, who's your man of the match this is what they've said on the Manchester united app Anti Martial, who I rated seven. Uh, Juan Bissaka, who I rated quite big. Or Scott McTominay, who I gave a decent score. I'm saying Martial because he was my overall man of the match. But this poll, it's mostly said McTominay. That says Juan Bissaka, that says Martial. But I'm, I'm giving my man of the match to Martial. Giving them, I, I, I am, I am giving my man of the match to Martial. Um, but you know, Juan Bissaka, Scott McTominay both played well as well. I, I, I look, every one of those players have got to have credit. Because they all play part of it, even actually young, uh, to be honest. But yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm happy. Three one Manchester United. Boom, get in there. Anyway, um, uh, good result by Manchester United. Um, and Norwich can take that, take that. But yeah, um, that's literally what I'm saying. But remember to go into the uh, video description, follow us on Instagram. Also, go and check out my channel if you haven't So yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be ending this uh, video here. Anyway, thanks for watching this video of the Man United fan stand. Speak to you all soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Come on, Man United!